we sit in sunny Southern California and we have with us today Bob, Cadman and Jessica Danchek and we're going to be speaking to them about cancer and how Bob's life has changed and I'm just fascinated to find out from you guys how did you meet and why did you do this and I need to know the story from the beginning so would you like to start or should I? give your version <laughs> my version I met Jessica through a mutual friend actually her boss the fellow yeah. she works for um, I was uh, diagnosed with pancreatic cancer last April yeah. and um, for those that are aware pancreatic cancer uh, always fatal terminal I guess um, by the time they by the time uh, I was diagnosed, um, I was beyond uh, surgical intervention. So uh, essentially what they did to confirm the diagnosis um, last April, late April, I went in for an outpatient biopsy where they bi take a biopsy of the liver to confirm the diagnosis of uh, cancer having spread from the pancreas to the liver. Um, during the biopsy, which was supposed to be a six-hour outpatient, they nicked my liver, and I ended up st do doing a six-day stay in intensive care, and um, just about died um, as they were doing the uh, um, biopsy when they sliced the liver open. Long story short, I survived that. Um, <laughs> <Sick>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you sue them for pain and suffering? <laughs> no, actually, because uh, the the diagnosis was, uh, or the the uh, biopsy confirmed the diagnosis of cancer, and the prognosis at that time was, wow, you got about six months here. Take hospice here, hospice care with you, go home. Good luck to you, and um, that's that's essentially how it, how it was left um, uh, over. It was just about a hundred thousand dollars in medical bills and blah 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 and go home and die. So you paid a hundred thousand rand to be told you're going to die. A mm. hundred thousand dollars at least. I, I didn't pay. Oh, you know the, the medical. Yeah. I, well, I didn't pay. I, oh, I didn't. Good. Insurance didn't pay either. Oh wow! Is that I, another I didn't story? have insurance, so <laughs> there was no insurance to tap. But long story short, I made it through that, okay. and it was it was um, after the botched biopsy, and. A uh, very very slow recovery at home from that that um, I guess Don and Jessica started talking and Don started calling me up and hey you've really got to try this and talk to Jessica no 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 this is crazy this is nonsense uh, long story short had a conversation with Don where I finally just said acquiesce and said I've got nothing to lose by giving it a whirl by giving it a try uh, because the the bottom line with the chemotherapy, had I gone in for the chemotherapy related to the pancreatic uh, cancer, <clears throat> the chemotherapy at best only extends life. It doesn't uh, doesn't eliminate the mm -hmm. death sentence. So I'm figuring, well, you know, since I'm not going to do, do the chemo route, might as well check out this other stuff. So uh, Jessica consulted me and put me on a, a diet plan that it involves the... Uh, was it the Trio Life Aim Barley thing? Yeah, the Barley Life. Bar barley Life, that's it. And, uh, and the carrots and... And then a daily juicing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, juicing uh, carrots, romaine, uh, all the other stuff, spinach, yeah. and that kind of thing. So that, that's kind of... So, so what was your diet like before? Horrible. Um, tell I, us, tell us, confess. Uh, I have really never really eaten well my whole life, uh, other than when I was being raised at home. Yeah. Uh, Mom cooked, she was a great cook, all that kind of stuff. As soon as I was on my, out on my own, uh, it's all about fast foods and whatever's convenient, whatever's highly processed, and whatever has lots of sugar and whatever has lots of grease. Um, and <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> and and that, that's... that's um, and I, I didn't actually, other than the pancreatic cancer, I didn't really suffer any ill medical or health consequences uh, yeah. from this kind of diet. Um, however, having said that, 
compared to how I feel right now as I sit here today. I didn't know how bad I felt eating an unhealthy diet even though I was healthy. So, oh, really? Yeah, I, I feel so much better now as I sit here um, uh, you know, a, a year later, just about a year later after the, the diagnosis. I, I feel better than certainly pre, pre-cancer days. So what are you eating now? Um, do uh, definitely do uh, the barley life and, and the juicing daily and basically have gravitated more towards a raw diet yeah. and uh, the recommendations you make for combining foods yeah. and uh, particularly of interest for pancreatic cancer is um, your chapter on uh, combining foods yeah. and, and digestive process because digestion and everything the pancreas is what creates the the bile the digestive juices yeah. for um, for properly uh, handling the digest- digestive process anyway long story short my pancreas doesn't work so I have to really depend on either uh, combining combining foods properly uh, that have the natural enzymes in in them yeah. uh, that haven't been cooked out or processed out um, that that's essentially what I rely on and, yeah. and to, uh, for survival is just eating eating the right combinations of food and I, and I don't do it perfectly and I don't do it religiously mm-hmm. but I sure feel great and I've, I've I wish I would have done this years ago and I've recommended it to several friends and stuff like that you said you gained weight oh yeah yeah uh, um, he I, was tiny <laughs> I mean, he's skinny now, but when I saw him, he was like, looked like a Holocaust survivor. It was bad. I used to weigh 195 pounds. Um, At the lowest point, I think I weighed 136 or 135. So I I dropped over 25% of body weight. Um, I don't have a scale, so I don't know how much I weigh right now, but I, I know that I'm either, uh, I'm 155, 160-ish, yeah. round in there. And uh, like I said, I feel great. And, and have you been back to the doctors? No. Why? There's no reason for me to go. They, they told you you're going to die anyway, so. Th- that, and uh, I'm, I'm not insured, so. <laughs> Tell her, but you went back um, oh, oh, six, yeah. uh, how many months after? I went, went back a couple months later. Um, because as I started to read a little bit about pancreatic cancer and had other people giving me advice on how to live and, and uh, how to take care of myself, um, came across a, an article on digestive enzymes, mm-hmm. a, a, just as I touched on. And um, so I went into the doctor and hey, prescribe me some digestive enzymes. But before I even got to that conversation, his question for me was, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I was a little bit taken back by that. That's not the greeting you want to hear from a yeah. doctor. What are you doing here? Uh, well, uh, so I asked, well, that's kind of a strange greeting. He said, well, I didn't expect to see you. I expected that you would be dead by now. Oh, and that, that was in August. So that was uh, um, yeah. four months after the biopsy and such. So, uh, you know, again... Um, and 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 you, did you get enzymes from him? I got them. I never used them. Yeah. Because you don't. You <laughs> well, as I as I started actually doing the program, uh, more and more. Uh, um, Juicing just, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. It just there there was really no need for it at all. Um, yeah. Because you just get it naturally through all the foods, the, eating the right foods, yeah. right, and particularly the right combinations. So. so how much of your diet is raw now? Like? Um, I as a percentage. Of, I, I wouldn't know how to give it a percentage. Again, I don't I don't. What follow. do you have for breakfast? Uh, like this morning for breakfast, I had <laughs> um, a, a Barley Life shake, yeah. the, the trio shake, uh, a banana, a smoothie uh, that had a couple more bananas in it, a handful of almonds, uh, fresh strawberries, a little soy milk, some ice. And that's it? That's it. And have you eaten anything since? No. What's a normal lunch? Um. <laughs> I asked him these questions too. <laughs> uh, I I kind of just 
Really, I I just eat by the fly uh, the, by the fly well, by the seat of my pants. What do you eat? What, what do you normally eat the next next time? What do you eat during the day? I'll, I'll probably have a you know avocado or two during the course of a day. Yeah. Um. Um. You know, maybe an avocado sandwich. Um. Maybe stop in at a place for a salad uh, at at one of the local places that that they have good salads. Things like that. And then and then do you have dinner? Sure. And and dinner would be actually a. Remember, I, I'm from the fast food mentality. No, I understand. Nachos. And, Tell her about the nachos. And I, I still really <laughs> don't. I still really don't cook for myself. Yeah. So, well, if you're thinking, well, raw food, you don't have to cook it. Yeah. I'm still learning about all this stuff and, and piecing it together. Like yeah. I said, don't follow it religiously, um, or, or at least not yet. And uh, you know, once in a while, I'll do I'll do some nachos. Um, <laughs> Uh, or, or uh, more importantly, um, I'll, I'll still do a, do fish. Yeah. Um, but certainly, uh, I haven't had any meat animal products that I'm aware of um, since June of last year. And how often would you eat fish? I'll eat fish probably three times a week. Okay. So. Uh, so you've gone kind of very much more more vegetarian type of diet, low protein. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, and yeah, I don't have any problems. Um, none. And you say you're feeling great. I yeah. mean, I, you surf. I surf as frequently as I want, as, as frequently as conditions permit. When I met him, he was barely making it into the restaurant. I mean, you know, it was hard, just even the, to get the energy to do that. And now he's surfing every day. Okay, what a life. <laughs> 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 the envy of everybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the envy of everybody, but I like it. I enjoy it, and uh, um, I have a uh, more than anything else. I have a tremendous quality lifestyle. Yeah. Way better than than I lived certainly before yeah. with the way I was eating before, and and, and certainly. Um, it's made this cancer thing a whole heck of a lot easier. Um, the big deal with the pancreatic cancer is actually pain. Uh, right now, anyway, knock on wood, I have no pain. Yeah. And Did you have pain in the beginning? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, not just the sliced liver pain of the biopsy, but uh, just pain in, in, in the pancreatic re yeah. region. And how long did it take for that to go? Uh, that seemed to, to have abated gradually over the course of a few months yeah. occasionally I get discomfort from it still yeah. uh, but it's certainly nothing debilitating and it's certainly nothing that I would consider um, taking medication yeah. for or any nonsense like that I, I there from me right now as I sit here there's no reason uh, to seek medical attention for this Amazing. condition just there, there, there's just no reason for it can you tell her um the day I gave you the barley, the reason why, like, that you decided that you were going to give it a shot because of the night sweats and stuff, like... Oh, yeah. I, that, that was an instant, <laughs> that was instant change. I forgot all about that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if you know what night sweats are. Yes. Um, uh, I had been having night sweats since November of 2006. That was one of the initial onsets of the infection of the, the mm. cancer was this night sweats. I, I, and I didn't know what it was about. And I just kind of tried to ignore it, sleep with blankets off, sleep with blankets on. It's essentially, I, I ignored it. Um, Male menopause. Yeah, <laughs> I, exactly. I ignored it pretty successfully for, for four or five months before yeah. I, I went in. And, and then from there, it was just like a, a freight train went to a general practitioner he said oh there's some pro there's problems with your uh, 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 with your blood the way your blood came back uh, looks like you're diabetic so they sent me in for some other tests and came back oh not diabetes well you're dead you're diabetic but it's worse than that <laughs> and, and then that's where I was referred on to the oncologist but the night sweats things uh, after um, Finally, when Jessica got, got a hold of me in about June-ish, mm -hmm. um, so I'd been doing night sweats now for November through June, eight months. Um, as soon as I started doing the barley life and paying attention to my diet, 
night sweats went away. And that, I, I again, literally, I would wake up every night, not just a little damp, but literally soaked in sweat. And all that went away. And So if you had one thing or something that you could share with other people that are being diagnosed with cancer, what would you say to them? It's a real quick and real simple answer. Um, do the steps necessary, dietary-wise, um, to change your life. Because I, I <laughs> it, is, it is that simple. I asked the oncologist at the, the initial diagnosis, because uh, I, I, I had gotten it from, from several different angles with people yeah. telling me to change my diet and things like that. So I talked to the oncologist about it. Oh, you know, people are telling me to eat raw and blah, 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 blah. He really foo-fooed it and really discounted it to the degree that it's hogwash, there's no science behind it, it doesn't work, it's fantasy. And literally, I had the conversation with the oncologist. And so, so I, I felt pretty good about it. I've got it on medical advice that this, yeah. this is nonsense. Long story short, as I started to do the diet, and my life radically changed for the better, and, uh, wow, it looks like I'm not going to die after all right away. Wow, I feel pretty good. Wow, I yeah. started surfing again and things from there. It's real simple. Change your diet. That is so awesome. Mm-hmm. That is so awesome. Mm-hmm. Thank you for yeah. sharing that. Really. Yeah. Really, I think that's... Uh, I can't add anything to that. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, so amazing because I've been following your story while, you know, Jessica's been telling me bits and pieces. And, and, and some people are compliant. When I say compliant, they kind of just, they just get it. They just get it and they say, this is it. It's my body. I'm responsible for it. I'm going to die anyway. So what have I got to lose? Which is the attitude you kind of had. Well, it, it, that, that's exactly it, is um, take responsibility for yourself. And I think Jessica will confirm this. My thing was, is I, I didn't want her doing this for me. Yeah. I, I, I knew that if I was to survive, it was something I was going to have to do for myself. Yeah. Certainly she could help me and point me in the right direction, and, and of which she did. You know, yeah. Got the juicer and, okay, this is what you do. Here's some recipes. Get going. Recipes only in the sense of combine this fruit with or this vegetable with this and this and this and this and do it this yeah. way. No cooking involved, and uh, <laughs> it, it it was it's that simple. Yeah. And uh, before I came over, I looked for a picture of me to bring with me as, uh, so you could see uh, what I looked like when I was in the hospital. Uh, one of my girls took the picture, and and I do look like a, a Holocaust survivor uh, as I'm sitting there. Um, just um, emaciated and gaunt and horrible it's real shocking and uh, I feel great now what are people that know you what, what are they saying yeah. I mean <laughs> like family friends um <laughs> I, 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 you know everybody's always happy to see me for sure uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're still around Bob <laughs> I, people are amazed to see me, uh, surprised, um, and and that's just generally the, the reaction. Uh, when the, then when they hear what I'm doing, it's you can see the skepticism come across. There's yeah. almost come down as a veil. Oh, okay, sure, that's working for you, you know. <laughs> it, but it, it is it's real simple, uh, you know, a good good diet uh, combined with you know just a, a healthy lifestyle. That is so amazing. Mm-hmm.